Well, welcome back again. Hey, I found another early home movie shot by my grandfather, old 16mm home movie, and, and it is of a snowfall in Crestline, and I think the year is probably about 1932. You can see it was quite a, quite a heavy snow right there. Now, it seemed like every time they, they had a heavy snowstorm, uh, my grandfather got out his movie camera and captured it. Uh, you can see the, the vehicles all just covered with snow right there. I know that uh, when they had a heavy snowfall like this, things just kind of shut down. Uh, I remember a story my mom relay, uh, relayed to me about my Uncle George. Uh, right after he was born in 1929, uh, they returned from the valley in the hospital back up to their home in Crestline, and, and suddenly it began to snow. It was a six-week-long uh, snowstorm, and they were locked in there. Uh, they couldn't leave, but uh, my my uh, grandfather needed to, to hike down to the valley to get some supplies for the newborn. Now, there's my grandfather's P.J. Cormack. That's his office. He was an insurance agent, a real estate person, in, in addition to being uh, the justice of the peace for Crest Forest up there. But anyway, let me get back to that story. So he, he hiked down to the valley for supplies, and I'm not sure how far that was, but it's got to be 15 miles easy, and had to hike back up uh, for the baby. So you had to be a real pioneer back in the early days if you lived up in the mountains because uh, you were on your own if, uh, during the winter if you had a heavy snowstorm like this. Now you can see... Uh, how heavy the snow is. There's a, there's a vehicle there almost covered up. Now, what did the kids do when, uh, when it snowed and everything was locked down? They, they all ran and grabbed their sleds and their uh, toboggans. You know, when I see those sleds right there, the, the word that comes to mind is rosebud. Uh, maybe, maybe some of your older viewers know exactly what I'm talking about. The younger ones won't. Uh, that looks like it might be one of the streets they began to clear. Uh, and again, here's a couple older kids. Let's see, I can't tell who that is. That might be, my, that's my mom on the right-hand side right there. I recognize her glasses. My uncle at the time was quite young. Now, what else did you do when you had a heavy snowstorm? Well, you had a snowball fight, and I think they all got involved. My, my grandfather may have been a little instigator here and said, hey, let me take a video of you guys throwing snowballs. Uh, now, my grandfather at this time uh, was pretty young, although I, I did see him uh, kind of get into the fray there. Look at the amount of snow right there. Now, uh, just like uh, heavy snow days these days, you, you had to get some of that snow off the roofs of some of these, some of these structures so it didn't collapse. But what a, what a beautiful shot. This may have been taken, I'm not sure, from my grandfather's house. Uh, not not certain. I know at the end of this video, there's actually a, a scene of uh, my grandfather's house. Now there's my <laughs> my mom and my uncle again. Uh, you can see the snow pile up along the edge of the road. They had both a uh, a tractor and a uh, a scraper to uh, clear the roads, and I'm sure they were uh, quite busy. There's my mom and my uncle again, and there's my uncle. He's walking up the steps back up to his house. I guess he uh, figured I'm gonna make another snowball here on the way back up. Like a, probably pretty slippery and icy. There's my grandmother reaching down to, to give him a little hand uh, back up to the house. Uh, now, I'm not sure, again, my mom said that at some point they, they moved up to the, on top of the hill in Crestline there. Uh, maybe someone knows what that reference means. I know uh, there's my uncle right there. He's, he's having a good time, and my uncle and his buddy, and they're, uh, they're having their own uh, snowball fight right there. Uh, coming Now, there we go again. There you see them shoveling snow off of the uh, top of the buildings. Uh, I'm sure it was a regular thing they had to do during the uh, during a snowstorm. Um, not sure exactly where that spot is right there. But uh, again, you see a lot of snow. I'm not sure that is in the background. It's probably, maybe it's my, my uncle, my mom uh, right there, my, my uncle, and there's my grandmother. But my, my grandfather got all kinds of home movies of my mom and my uncle. And, and I just think, how cool is this? Because my grandkids can actually look at this and, and see video of their great, great grandparents. How awesome is that? 
I don't think there's a lot of people that can say that. Not a lot of people were taking home movies in the early 30s. So uh, uh, I can't tell you how, uh, how blessed I think I am to have these these films. And I, I really want to share them with uh, whoever I can because uh, I think they're cool. All righty, well, there's another snow day in Crestline, 1932. All right, well, thanks for watching. Aloha.